Coming up on Mountain News at 6, another TV series is featuring a mountain story on a popular streaming app. This one related to the Eric C. Kahn scam. And how a new facility in Morgan County will help bring new opportunities for those returning to society after being locked up. Well, if you thought today was nice, let me introduce you to tomorrow's forecast. I'll have that and more coming up next at 6. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 6. For many former offenders, finding job opportunities beyond their jail cells can be a struggle. But one Eastern Kentucky Institute aims to change that. WYMT's Alyssa Williams was in Morgan County for the groundbreaking of the E-Kentucky Advanced Manufacturing Institute. For some people, life is all about second chances. My faith teaches me that second chances uh, aren't just the right thing. They we're called upon to provide them. Governor Andy Bashir and other state representatives gathered at the groundbreaking ceremony for the E-Kentucky Advanced Manufacturing Institute in West Liberty on Wednesday. It's very exciting because it's, uh, it's going to be innovative and it's happening right here in eastern Kentucky, here in Morgan County. This facility will allow state inmates and other eligible students the opportunity to be trained in aerospace, automotive, and robotic manufacturing. It's where our faith and values and a successful approach to workforce development are coming together. This institute will allow inmates to acquire the skills necessary to successfully transition from prison life to civilian life. This program has already helped people like Victoria Legg, who is a former addict and offender. For me specifically, it has given me an entirely new outlook as far as what is possible for employment. Students and program affiliates alike say they are not only excited to be a part of a growing industry, but also to be a part of an institute that believes in giving people a second chance at life. It's kind of um, a no-brainer, I would say, that uh, this program is going to be awesome. Taking part in a groundbreaking that creates groundbreaking opportunities for Eastern Kentuckians. In West Liberty, Alyssa Williams, WYMT, Mountain News. The project was made possible through abandoned mine land funding. Those behind the project say they estimate the facility will be built by next year. A court hearing for the man charged in a Madison County murder was pushed back this morning. Shannon Gilday is charged with killing Jordan Morgan. He admitted to breaking into her father's mansion in February and killing her. After his arrest, police say he assaulted a corrections officer earlier this month. He was supposed to be in court on those charges, but Gilday's attorney was unable to make it to court this morning. Gilday's court date was pushed back to next Wednesday. The story of Eric C. Khan has echoed through the mountains for the last seven years, with whispers and worries continuing in the homes of hundreds of eastern Kentuckians still battling for their benefits. WYMT's Buddy Forbes has more about an upcoming Apple TV Plus project that many former clients hope will be a turning point. This is one of the craziest people who pulled off one of the biggest scams in American history. We are looking for Eric Kahn for defrauding the U.S. taxpayer of more than $550 million. The big con has a big story to tell. Uh, it's not just about Eric Kahn. In fact, it's clearly about the people left behind, the former clients. The high profile case against Eric C. Kahn brought with it years of loss. Many are blaming their former attorney. He's Eric been pure hell, can't sleep, restless. Uh, I mean, he's constantly on the back of your mind. Loss of benefits, loss of reputation, loss of life. Somebody's got to tell, you know, uh, our side of the story. Now, seven years since it all began, Hundreds of former clients are still battling to get their benefits back. You know, we're all the same. We're all hurting the same way. While some, like Jeff Adkins, consider themselves blessed to have found a bit of financial relief through SSI, not everyone is as lucky. People that can help don't seem to care. Like Brian McCown, stuck in the crater the case left behind. They treat us like we are, Eric C. Kahn. 
Well, it's not worse than that. Burdened by the actions of a man they only found through his advertisements. I never met Eric Kahn. I never met the man in my life. Left to wonder where the Social Security Administration is concerned, will their stories ever be louder than the scandal? I just don't understand how they can sleep at night. I really don't. Hoping the new spotlight will be just what they need. So there's a problem with this picture. So when this documentary comes out, maybe something will change. Maybe, maybe it will stir the pot up a little bit. To get back what they feel they deserve. In Pike County, Buddy Forbes, WYMT Mountain News. Attorney Ned Pillersdorf says the big con releasing on Apple TV Plus next Friday could allow the story to reach the eyes and ears of those who need to hear it from President Biden's administration to the Social Security Administration. An optometrist and owner of Ideal Eye Care in Laurel County is convicted of Medicaid fraud. Attorney General Daniel Cameron's office found that Carolyn Hendy billed Medicaid for duplicate frames, lenses, lens coatings, fittings, and repairs. The report claims that Hendy fraudulently collected more than $68,000 from Medicaid. In March, Hendy pleaded guilty to one count of theft and one count of devising or engaging in a scheme to defraud the Kentucky Medical Assistance Program. Her sentence was diverted for three years. She was ordered to pay restitution to the Kentucky Medical Assistance Program. National Drug Take Back Day is just four days away. It's a day for communities to safely dispose of expired, unused, and unwanted prescription drugs. You can drop off those medications at many local police stations or sheriff's offices. We will have a full list of them on our website. Not only do they accept medications, they also take vape pens and e-cigarettes. Liquids, syringes, and illegal drugs are not accepted. Fantastic weather continues around the region tonight, though we will start to get cooler as we head through the evening hours. Well, you'd expect that, but we're going to continue to see temperatures drop from the 60s into the 50s and eventually the low 40s as we head into tonight. High knob camera UVA wise, just a few fair weather clouds this afternoon. There's a patch of clouds over West Virginia. That's about the closest we've come to even obscuring the sun in many spots today. We're into the mid and upper 50s around the region. At least out in southwest Virginia, not a cloud in the sky along I-75 in London this evening. Middle and upper 60s around the region. Some of us got close to 70. Look at Jonesville sitting at 68 and 67 in Middlesboro. We've noticed, though, temperatures just across the border there into Russell County getting into the 70s this afternoon. More of that on the way. It's clean sweep on pinpoint Doppler, so as we head into tonight, we're getting chilly again. Calm winds, lows near 40, patchy frost possible. I'll have the latest on when showers could move back in coming up in just a bit. Steve. All right, Evan, thank you. A recent London audit was one of the hot topics last night in the London Mayoral Forum. The audit found that the daughter of the current London mayor, Troy Rudder, was paid more than the council had budgeted for a position with the city's tourism commission. Additionally, the report found the commission lacked proper oversight of taxpayer dollars. Each mayoral candidate addressed the audit, calling for transparency and processes to ensure mismanagement of funds cannot happen. We're going to work with the city council to put safe, uh, safe calls in place. That way, uh, no money is, is mismanaged. I think having accountability and also working with city council and being transparent to the voters, laying things out in a black and white. I would work immediately to remedy the uh, the findings, of course, and I would put processes in place to ensure that this would never happen again. Then this should have never happened to begin with. The audit resulted in some city council members calling on Mayor Troy Rudder to resign. Mayor Rudder released a statement saying that most of the auditor's problems have been corrected and he would continue to work on resolving any issues. Now, Rudder is not seeking re-election this year. You have less than one week to request an absentee ballot. May 3rd is the deadline. Only certain voters qualify. You can submit your request at GoVoteKY.com. The primary election in Kentucky is set for May 17th. A new partnership of major Kentucky businesses aims to improve the health and well-being of their employees. Appalachian Regional Healthcare and App Harvest will work together on an education and food-centric campaign. Officials with both companies say the first target audience is the nearly 7,000 combined employees they have. 
Some of what that partnership will look like is already happening. Jonathan Webb, the App Harvest president, and I actually did a cooking demo to make some healthy smoothies and avocado toast to show our employees how easy it is to have a simple and healthy meal. Leaders with both companies say that their combined workforce represents one of the largest employee populations in the region. The campaigns will go much deeper than just education, too. We'll have those details for you tonight at 11. Beautiful weather continues tomorrow ahead of a big shift in the forecast. The latest on when showers and above average temperatures work back in is coming up next. And we'll introduce you to another East Kentucky Leadership Award winner who's been leading by example for nearly a century. WYMT News app offers alerts on breaking stories as they happen, customized to the categories you choose. The WYMT News app, powered by Appalachian Wireless. Mark your calendars for the return of the Harlan County Jeep Crawl, hosted by the Harlan County Jeepers, May 6th through 7th. Expect great rides all over Harlan County, as well as fantastic food, vendors, and fun for the whole family. Visit our Facebook page for more information. I'm Audrey Davis, and I work with kids who have autism. The Key Scholarship from the Kentucky Lottery impacted me in so many ways. It allowed me to, to walk that path that brought me here to help these kids, which I, I feel like is where I'm supposed to be. I'm Hal Rogers, and I approve this message. Hal Rogers never stops working for us. But Joe Biden, he hates our way of life here in rural Kentucky. His open borders plan means more drugs on our streets. And under Biden, prices are skyrocketing at the grocery and the gas pump. Thankfully, Congressman Hal Rogers is standing up for us, fighting Biden and the Socialist Democrats to save our country. Hal Rogers, pro-life, pro-gun, and always putting America first. Are you ready for warm weather and a little sunshine? The Appalachian Wireless team has decided to have the ultimate spring break event. A sale so big with so many savings opportunities, you'll be thinking it's Christmas in April. The spring break event is going on now through the end of April, and all smartphones are on sale with Appalachian Advantage. Spring into an Appalachian Wireless retail location or visit us on the web to see what deals have sprung at our spring break event. We know what you want because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. April showers are bringing in new inventory to Hut Chevy in Paintsville. That's right, now trucks and cars are arriving daily. If you haven't shopped Hut Chevy, now is the time. Plus, we have restocked our pre-owned selection with great deals on four-wheel drives and gas-efficient cars. What's the best thing about Hutch? If we don't have it, we'll get it, and it comes with a guarantee. I'm Bob Hutcherson, and you have my word on it. Shop Hut Chevy in Paintsville. You have the power to save lives in your community. Today, more than 1,000 Kentuckians are awaiting a life-saving organ transplant. Just one donor can save up to eight lives. Put the do in donor and register today. Learn more at DonateLifeKY.org. Mark your calendars for the return of the Harlan County Jeep Crawl, hosted by the Harlan County Jeepers, May 6th through 7th. Expect great rides all over Harlan County, as well as fantastic food, vendors, and fun for the whole family. Visit our Facebook page for more information. The WYMT News app offers alerts on breaking stories as they happen, customized to the categories you choose. The WYMT News app, powered by Appalachian Wireless. To have complete trust or confidence in someone or something is known as faith. Faith is resilient, and those living within our mountains know exactly what that word means. Today, we continue to highlight people and organizations who help define what being a leader is. WYMT's Dakota Maker sat down with a 97-year-old man who not only defines the word faith, but has spread that belief to those in eastern Kentucky. Born in McRoberts, Kentucky, a small town in Letcher County in 1924, 97-year-old Bishop Willie Lamb has served many roles throughout his life, including mining coal and pastoring churches. I'm one of 15 children, and uh, I couldn't talk. I studied when I taught. And when I go to school and get up to read, the kids would laugh at me. The World War II veteran says he never made it past the fifth grade because he could not read. But when he turned 16, he was drafted into the Army and was interviewed to work in the post exchange room on a ship. When I peeled peanuts and candy as a boy, I, uh, you know, helped feed the family. And he said, well, I'm going to put you over to PX. 
I said, I don't, I don't know whether I can do it or not. But through his strong faith in the Lord, he was able to overcome those obstacles. I, I just said, where well, you learn to face life as it is. In other words, you don't try to be something that you're not. And I said, well, uh, I'm working in the coal mine. They give me a job in the coal mine. He was married to his wife for more than 50 years. Both raised their seven kids to trust and believe in the Lord. When the kids come along, I, me and my wife both got saved. And uh, uh, we carried them to church and we, we taught them about the Lord. For his lifelong impacts on Eastern Kentucky, the McRoberts community recently dedicated a bench in his honor for the impact he had on the small town and Eastern Kentucky. He's leaving a legacy of community service, serve others. It was unexpected and he was surprised by it. And I guess at the award ceremony, he'll be even more surprised. The 2022 East Kentucky Leadership Carolyn Sunday Award goes to Bishop Willie Lamb. Bishop Lamb will turn 98 years old this summer. He looks great. That's hard to believe. The East Kentucky Leadership Conference will be held tomorrow and Friday at the Appalachian Wireless Arena in Pikeville. Registration closed today at 4 p.m. For more information, including the agenda, you can go to eklf.org. Gorgeous sunshine continues around the mountains this evening, making for an absolutely picture perfect end to the midweek out across the region. Hard to believe it's already Wednesday, right? Plenty of sunshine this afternoon is turning into plenty of sunshine this evening. US 119, US 23 camera outside at the moment and traffic moving swimmingly. You typically see that about six o'clock here this evening. Mountain Parkway at Slade, much less traffic as you'd expect, but plenty of sunshine and blue skies there as well. Pinpoint Doppler, she's a clean sweep around the region. Nothing to worry about. You got to go up toward Indianapolis before you run into even before you run into anything that could even be called a shower, let alone actual rainfall. High pressure working into West Kentucky now that will keep us dry. In fact, you see the dominance of this high pressure across the southern quarter of the country. You see across the plains into the southern United States, we're all clear. We'll continue to see that at least for one more day before the systems out to the west start to move in. For us tonight, that means plenty of clear skies, calm winds, and cold temperatures. That'll help us cool down. We're near 50 as we head to bed. We wake up tomorrow morning into the upper 30s and low 40s. Patchy frost possible, not widespread like uh, the potential was for last night. But if you have those sensitive plants outdoors, just bring them inside if you can and keep them safe. Low to mid 60s out there by mid afternoon tomorrow. We'll add a few clouds to the mix, but it won't be anything that we'll have to concern ourselves with in terms of planning for the weather tomorrow. Mid 60s out there for tomorrow afternoon. So another gorgeous day, even if we're a few degrees below average, about eight degrees below average, we should be about 73 this time of year. Mid 60s, not quite there, but still comfortable enough. Low to mid 50s as we head to bed tomorrow night as the clouds work in. This is our next system beginning to work on in. It's a big low pressure across the plain states that will kind of cut itself off from the upper level flow. As it does, it just kind of meanders its way through the eastern third of the country. And that will give us multiple chances for showers, even a few rumbles of thunder heading into the day on Friday. We continue the warming trend. We're back into the uh, mid 50s, even upper or mid 60s into the upper 60s to near 70. But you notice we'll be watching waves of showers working through the region. Essentially what's going to happen here on our Community Trust Bank extended forecast, it's not going to be an all day rain Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Not particularly heavy, not widespread, but it's something we'll watch out for as we head through the next few days, especially if you have outdoor plans, because we will start to see those temperatures warm up mid 70s by Saturday. And we're into the upper 70s as we start next week with that same system kind of lingering on through. So a uh, bit of a late spring pattern working in as we enter the final third of meteorological spring mm -hmm. on Sunday, which is, and I can't believe this either, May 1st. Mm -hmm. Getting close to that uh, Derby Day mm -hmm. the next weekend. All right, thank you, Evan. Coming up on Mountain News at 6, we'll introduce you to a national powerhouse lacrosse program in Williamsburg. Sports is next. IMT Weather, sponsored by Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Mix and match the classic McDouble with even more select faves for just three nineteen. Ba da ba ba ba. Living healthier isn't only about gym memberships and fitness equipment. Just a 30-minute walk every day can make a big difference. Remember, movement is improvement. Unite for a healthier Kentucky. Learn more at fitky.org. Spring brings fresh ways to save at Food City. Longer days and brighter rays bring with them incredible savings. So relish the fresh air, light breezes, and low prices at Food City. This week, save on fresh chicken breast tenders, $2.99 per pound. Red or black seedless grapes, $1.69 per pound. Select produce items, $12 for $10 and more. Only at Food City. Value every day, Food City. I'm Ray Jones. For 20 years in the Senate, my opponent donated to my campaigns. Four years ago, he was one of the first people to donate, so I would come back and clean up Pike County. Little did I know, he was part of the mess. He was overcharging the county on auto parts. I stopped that. And I refused to accept his late bid, and boy, did he get mad. He's the same guy who voted to raise water and sewer rates to historic highs when he was on the Mountain Water Board. So much for being humble. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. Are you getting all the benefits you need? If you have Medicare, you may now be able to get new benefits. Benefits may include eyeglasses, wellness visits, gym membership, meal delivery, and hearing aids with low copay. You may even find plans with zero monthly plan premiums, zero copays on many services, and zero deductible. To find out which benefits you qualify for and to find out if you're getting the benefits that you deserve, let Best Medicare do the work for you. When I lost my sight, the only thing I had was reading. The National Library Service for the Blind and Physically Handicapped Library of Congress gives patrons the freedom to read their way. Call 1-888-NLS-READ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Mix and match the classic McDouble with even more select faves for just three nineteen. Ba da ba ba ba. WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Sponsored by Pikeful Medical Center. Together we rise. Well, to paraphrase underdog, never fear, the transfers are here. Kentucky picking up another major piece this morning. Illinois State transfer guard Antonio Reeves announced on his Twitter this morning that he will play next season in Lexington. He tells ESPN that he picked the Cats simply because he wants to win a national championship. And this is certainly the roster to get it done, especially with Oscar and Severe staying in town. So let's take a deep dive into his stat line. He averaged 20 points per game last season at Illinois State. Look at that right there at the bottom, though. Three-point field goal percentage, 39%. That's Kellen Grady-type numbers. Should be a fun season with him joining La Familia. The transfer additions didn't stop with Coach Cal. Mark Stoops and company also picked up a transfer today. Jordan Robinson, a transfer from Division II Livingstone College in North Carolina, tweeted this afternoon that he has committed to Kentucky. Robinson was originally committed to Appalachian State earlier this month, but once Power 5 programs Kentucky and Oregon State came calling, he decommitted. Robinson had 13 tackles and one interception last season. Well, America's fastest growing sport, the fastest on two legs, is gaining some success right here in the Eastern Kentucky Mountains with one college program out in Williamsburg looking to get over the hump and bring home their first national championship. Let me introduce you to the Cumberland's Patriots men's lacrosse team. It's not often that you get to be a part of the foundation of something and when you are it makes you feel really good because um, you kind of get to set the culture and hopefully that culture carries on. For just seven seasons, the Cumberland's men's lacrosse team has gone from grassroots startup program to national powerhouse. It was an awesome experience just to be able to take something that has never been done before in an area that's never been done, seen anything like this before, and, and really be able to build what we've built in the last seven years. From the program's first season in 2016, the Patriots have built a team that makes trips to the national semifinals an annual event. I've been here since Team 3, and I assume, I guess we're on Team 7 now. Um, it's crazy to think about and 
just trying to leave my legacy pretty much and impact this program for the positive to can have the continued growth and success that we've had. It's a success and a legacy these guys coming to the mountains are proud of. Yeah, I think being a part of the foundation and help, helping set the culture and for years to come and knowing that there's going to be people from uh, around the country come to southeastern Kentucky and play at Cumberland's is going to be awesome. This season, the Patriots are eyeing their first national championship on the heels of three straight trips to the national semifinals. And the talent isn't the issue for us this year. We, we all know that. We're really focusing on the little details, um, on the stuff that they may not think that matters, but does matter and will matter when we get into those tight games later in the season when it's win or go home. Looking at this season, as the season you see finally makes that leap. I think we have the skill and the potential to really make a good run and get over that hump. And at the end of the day, if we can look at ourselves in the mirror and know that we played our hardest, that's what it takes. All right, and the uh, national tournament bracket will come out on Sunday. We'll have more on that later. Uh, we got some baseball in the 14th region tonight. Perry Central hosting Wolf County out in Hazard, and Hazard going down to Whitesburg to take on Letcher Central. Both those games already in progress. We'll have scores and highlights tonight at 11. That's sports. We're back after this. Hello, this is Stacy Mead, candidate for Floyd County PVA. When I say I love Floyd County and our volunteer firefighters, I mean it. That's why when I'm elected, I will donate 25% of my salary to the fire departments. Vote Stacy Mead. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Like free shipping. I got a package? Free shipping. We get it. You can leave it right there. That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com Here are five big reasons to buy a Toyota Camry. It's built in the USA with style and innovation. Camry's been the best-selling car for 20 years. Toyota is the longest-lasting brand. And the number one reason, the great fuel savings. At 52 MPG, this electrified Camry hybrid can save you over $5,600 over the next five years. Buy big reasons to buy a Camry. Toyota, let's go places. My name is Frankie Lewis. I am the owner of Frankie Lou Fashion House. I'm also a Kentucky Keys Scholar, and Keys Money is cool because it gives students an early opportunity to take action in financing their education. Sometimes when you're an artist like me, it's easy to say, oh, I'm going to be an actress. Oh, I'm going to be a painter. I don't need to get A's and B's. Well, if you want help funding that education, then maybe try a little harder so you can get a really nice scholarship opportunity waiting for you. The COVID-19 virus has changed the way we work, live, and play. COVID-19 vaccination is our shot at a healthier tomorrow. Have you been vaccinated? Vaccination is the number one thing people ages 5 and over can do to fight the virus. Now's the time to be more proactive. Make it a priority to get vaccinated and mask up for your safety and health of our community. For more information about vaccination and booster locations, visit kyruralhealth.org. Hello, this is Stacy Mead, candidate for Floyd County PVA. When I say I love Floyd County and our volunteer firefighters, I mean it. That's why when I'm elected, I will donate 25% of my salary to the fire departments. Vote Stacy Mead. ARH highlights Eastern Kentucky's top students every week. Watch for the ARH Mountain Student Achiever Monday and Tuesday on Mountain News at 6 and 11. Day's work. Walker, Texas Ranger. The countdown to the Kentucky Derby is on, and crews are busy at Churchill Downs. Inside the Home Stretch Club, which offers food, drink, and hospitality, last minute painting is being done, and the newly laid carpet is being vacuumed. The space recently underwent a renovation, and officials are celebrating the completion just in time for Derby. At a price tag of $45 million, one of the oldest sections of the track was transformed into an all-inclusive club. I think this is going to be the hip, new, modern place to be on a big day at Churchill Downs. 
There's terraced dining, 2,600 stadium seats, 20-plus trackside horseshoe lounges, and a bar that at 95 feet is believed to be the longest in Kentucky. A lot of room for a lot of drinks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Thanks so much for joining us for Mountain News at 6. You can always find the latest on WYNT.com. The CBS Evening News is up next, and we'll see you back here at 11. Good night, everyone. medicine can help make you the most optimal version of yourself. Call today for a free consultation. When you buy appliances from the Home Depot, 